Hello everybody, Jardis here, and in today's video I am yet on another single attunement elementalist build. Now, in a previous video, I did one for a single attunement elementalist of water. Now, with that particular one, I tried to focus on a more DPS spec because I wanted to try and run it in a solo content. This particular water elementalist is more focused on group content. This one is primarily a supporter and a healer. Now, this one does not do very well in solo play because its offensive capabilities are even worse than the previous Water Elementalist build I posted, but it does have some capability. Now, again, this is not going to be the best Water Elementalist build out there. There will be tons of others, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're doing. For the gear, we're actually using the Harrier set, which is power, healing power, and concentration. We are using the Superior Rune of the Water, though if you can afford it, you could probably substitute that with Superior Rune of the Monk, which unfortunately I am unable to collect. We are using the Magi Staff for our primary weapon, with Superior Sigils of Transference and Concentration. And for our secondary, we are using the Cleric's Scepter and a Cleric's Warhorn, which is both power, toughness, and healing power. Again, with Superior Sigil of Transference and Concentration. Our trinkets will be the Sapphire. Okay, and for the build, we are going Water, Arcane, and Tempest. For water, we are going two, three, three. For arcane, we're going one, one, one. And for tempest, we are going three, two, three. Okay, for water, the number two here, Piercing Shards, vulnerability you inflict has increased duration. Deal increased strike damage to vulnerable foes. Damage bonus is doubled while attuned to water. Well, we are staying in water. This will give us a little bit of an extra offensive capabilities, even though we're not really geared for that. But we are geared for dealing vulnerabilities. So again, in a group content, dealing vulnerability to foes while everybody else has the more potential DPS, this becomes invaluable. For flow like water, deal increased strike damage when your health is above the threshold. Blocking or evading an attack heals you. This is basically a more of a survival trade because even though we have tons of heals, we're going to keep using a lot of our heals. And this just adds another healing ability to our repertoire by either evading or blocking and we will be able to do many of that. And then finally, for Soothing Power, Soothing Mist is more effective. For those that do not know, Soothing Mist is actually this primary skill right here that, we, unfortunately, we cannot change. But what it does is that you and your nearby allies recover health while you are attuned to water. Basically, it's sort of a permanent regen. And since we are staying in water, this is going to be pretty much on all the time. Okay, now for Arcane, for one, we're doing the Arcane Precision. Your critical strikes have a chance to inflict a condition based on your attunement. Well, again, we are staying in water, so we're dealing vulnerability, which again is very vital in a group setting. Now, a lot of people most likely will also have abilities to deal vulnerability, but this is just in case that there isn't. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to have extra vulnerability on your target. For Arcane Resurrection, this one we are casting a geyser when we're reviving a down ally. Now, remember, we are primarily rolled for healing and support. So if we see a downed ally and we start reviving them, this will come into effect. Basically what it is, uh, the geysers will now partially revive the down allies and it will give us an aura. And since we're staying in water, we will get a a frost aura which will decrease the incoming damage we get while we're reviving. And for Evasive Arcana, basically this is a condition cleanse whenever we dodge. Basically you cast a sp skill when you dodge based on your attunement. Well, we're staying in water and we're getting the cleansing wave. 
which also affects our, um, <coughs> our nearby allies. Excuse me. Now for Tempest, we're going with Unstable Conduit. Overloads grant an aura based on your attunement. Once again, we're staying with water. This is basically a survival trait that will decrease the amount of damage we receive it when we get attacked. Now for Harmonious Conduit, gain stability and swiftness when starting an overload. This is just to basically prevent our enemies and our targets from interrupting us while we're doing an overload with our water aura. And finally, the Elemental Bastion. Heal allies to gr you grant an aura to. Grant Frost Aura to nearby allies when struck while below the health threshold. Remember what I said about the uh, uh, the attunement. Basically, we are spreading that out when we're using overload, and this will also gain more additional healing to our allies. Now, for our utility skills, we're using Wash the Pain Away. We're using Arcane Blast. This will primarily be the most damage that we will be used excuse me this will be the skill that we use to deal the most damage while in this build so make sure you use this often feel the burn this is another semi deal damage dealings skill but it also gives us an aura which again affects our allies we're using ele lesser elemental and glyph of elementals again basically to supplement our lack of combat ability now to test this build, I am currently in Crystal Oasis, which is Path of Fire, north of the Amnoon Waypoint, over by the Seeking Ruins Hero Point. And to show you how this build works, now again, I am going to point out that this is not meant for solo play. This is mostly meant for group content because almost all of our skills, like Healing Rain, Frozen Ground, and Geyser here, usually do healing and supportive effects, whereas Ice Spike and Water Blast seem to be our two only real damage dealing skills, at least when we're using the staff. Now when we're using the Scepter Warhorn, Ice Shards, Shatterstone, Water Trident, and Tidal Surge all deal combat damage, but also heal our allies as well, so this may be a more prudent skill set to use while being in the solo area so let's just figure out how this works I feel energized. As I said before, this is not the greatest in terms of damage dealing, but as you can see that I, it's taken me a while to even deal any form of significant damage to him, because we are not ge geared for DPS, we are geared for healing, which is why we need our elementals as much as possible, because they are the ones that are dealing the most damage in terms of, you know, this combat we're doing. Of course, this is probably not the greatest hero point to test this build out, but at least you have an idea of what to expect if you decide to go with this route. But I am keeping pretty much a strong vulnerability stacks on him, which is actually helping us deal the more damage to him. Now when you use an overload, you want to make sure that you run over your allies, including your elemental, so that they get the benefit of the aura. You 
don't necessarily have to, you know, stand in one spot when you're using your overload. You can actually walk around while you're using it, as you can see here. Refreshing. I feel energized. Feel the burn! Maybe I'll think twice next time. Oh, good. Someone has decided to join. Good. That, that means we'll have some better DPS dealings. Love it. Now, while we deal more vulnerability onto this particular person, this hero point, our little friend here, Clown Shoes, not quite sure how you pronounce that name, I do apologize, but thank you so much for assisting us. And that's how this build would go. Again, I have to point out that this is not the greatest elementalist build that there is available, but this does provide an alternative for those of us who want to learn how to use the elementalist build without the complexity of all the rotations of the attunements that are needed. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Feel free to share this information with anybody who is interested in building a supportive water elementalist. And I will see you again in the next video. Happy gaming!